Hello everybody, it's March 14th, 2013, and yes, tomorrow is the Ides of March. March 15th, that's the day that Julius Caesar was assassinated in Rome. Something important in history. All right, get into a couple things here. I'll try not to make this long. You know I'm not always successful at that. A lot of things happening as usual, but I'm going to start off with the discovery of the Higgs boson particle. This is the, the particle that gives the rest of matter its mass. And that's very important. They call it the God particle. It's probably a misnomer, but the point is, is this what this is what pulls all the matter together and gives it its substance and its and its mass. So I think that's kind of a neat thing, and I think you should just kind of follow that a little bit because it is it is a, a big discovery. Uh, they've known about this particle for a long time uh, because of the standard model of particle physics. Uh, and uh, it's, it's just great that they were able to locate it. So I just wanted to bring that up before I get into the nitty-gritty of things. Hey listen, um, top story right now as far as I'm concerned is they're trying to pass the Monsanto Protection Act in the Senate. Uh, it's actually a rider on the Farmer Assurance Provision uh, Section 735 and basically what this is doing, remember I told you we're becoming a fascist state and these kinds of things are so prevalent. GE gets tax breaks, doesn't have to do Obamacare. $108 billion offshore that they don't pay taxes on and nobody does anything to them. As a matter of fact, Obama and the administration helped them to get away with this stuff. Well now we have Monsanto to protect itself from lawsuits and criminal uh, prosecution has this act the Monsanto Protection Act is a rider on this other bill to prevent them from being sued or held criminally liable because of their genetically modified foods and seeds. If you don't understand the importance of why we shouldn't be using genetically modified food and seeds, you need to study that for yourself so you'll understand. And yeah, there are pros and cons on either side, but the fact of the matter is it has been proven to cause cancer. It's been proven to cause genetic um, manipulation uh, and defects and a, a whole lot of different diseases so that's important to understand and you really need to understand that this is about money it's not about food production it's so that they can patent their seeds and you can't get more seed from the plants because they're hybrids that grow from these genetically modified seeds you can't get more seeds from the plants you have to buy them from Monsanto so it's it's a control mechanism okay Kissinger said back in the 1970s that, that they would have weapon as a food, food as a weapon, and that's where this is going to control you even more. So these these large corporations are are, are imprisoning us, okay? And, and we need to, to to raise the alarm about this. Um, the next thing I want to bring up is something kind of odd. In the Russian paper, uh, actually, it's a I think it's an internet news service. It's on RIA, R-I-A, Novosti, the Russian equivalent of our DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, went into the, and I'll have to read this so I get this right, the Nangarhar province of Afghanistan and seized 20 to 21 tons of heroin. Do you understand the significance of this? Look. The Russians complained about three, four, five years ago that the U.S. was protecting the poppy fields, and the Russians didn't like that because a lot of that was ending up in their country. This has been a point of contention because, you know, the intelligence agencies are all, agencies are all in each other's beds. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And higher levels of government are like that too. So what's been happening is, is the Russians said, okay, we won't make a big deal about it because, all right, CIA, you go ahead and make your money from those, those poppy fields and the heroin that's produced. And believe me, you know, that's where most of it goes. That's why we're there is to protect those opium fields for our CIA use. I know that sounds absurd, but if you go and look this stuff up, you'll even see troops talking about it. Some of those videos have been taken down, but they're still available. But here's perfect proof. The Russians come into Afghanistan and do this raid and seize 21 tons. 21 tons. Why didn't the Americans seize it? <laughs> you see what's going on here? The Americans are protecting it to keep the Russians quiet. They let them come in and take this, this opium 
and take it off the market. I'm not certain that that's really where it's going to end up because the Russians have their own reasons, I'm sure. But they do get 21 tons, a, about a year, 20 tons comes into Russia. So this is representing an entire year of heroin coming into Russia. And they seized it. The Russians did, not us. Important key information as to what's really happening in Afghanistan. Okay. Obama has now allowed spy agencies to access your financial accounts without warrant. They can just scour all of the accounts and look for anomalies or suspicious activity. Our Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights are just disappearing more and more by the day. I hope you understand that. Okay, uh, a couple of racial things. Um, I sent out some emails to people that, that I'm close to and that like to, well, I don't know if they like to get the information, but I like to share it because this stuff is so important and the people that I really care about that I'm close with, I want them to see these things. But I'm going to mention it here as well. Uh, I talked about the Southern Poverty Law Center the other day and how they are categorizing white conservatives as terrorists and that the government has to take action now to go after those people. The LA Times came out with an article just yesterday parroting the same information and calling whites the new Al-Qaeda, okay? That, that patriots are dangerous, true patriots to the Constitution. Any, anybody that stands up to this, this anti-constitutional megalith that we've got in Washington, D.C., they're, they're labeled as, as terrorists or as dissidents or whatever. No. People that do this, that stand up for the Constitution, we're the ones that are pro-government, pro-American government. The people that say that the Constitution, the Founding Fathers, all those programs that are on TV right now, and they, they malign people that want to support and defend the Constitution and the principles thereof, because that, that is good, good government. The best that the world has ever seen, if it's, if it's used properly. They call us anti-government, <laughs> you know? They turn the whole thing on its head. So we have that LA Times article in Wisconsin, and, and the Southern Poverty Law Center, and then we have in Wisconsin, get this, to be a worker in the VISTA program, which is a federally funded program, and you're white, you now have to wear a white bracelet so that you're aware of your white privilege and how you're so bad. Do you see what's going on here? This is going on at every level of our society. In Texas, all right, taxpayer money was used to buy billboards in Texas that say, Arriba mi gente, a gente. Do you understand what that is? It says, Rise up my people. Taxpayer money did this. And, and the sign, which I probably should have shown you here, shows all these people waving these flags, Mexico in the heart of a heart, okay? And all these people rallying across the border. Rise up, my people. Okay, well, let's see. If taxpayer money was used for a sign that says, rise up, white people, how do you think that would go over? Do you see the racial division that's going on here? I'm going to beg you, okay? not to fall into this trap. You know, everyone wants freedom and liberty. And I could go into a, an entire explanation as to why these things are happening. Just suffice it to say that the government or the people that are running the government, okay, want a civil division. They want a civil war. You know, they're helping La Raza. They're, the, the, the San Diego plan, you need to go look that up. These are dangerous things. And they're being used so that the white people are demonized, just like in the DHS, you know, non-traditional targets, non-hesitation targets, just like in the DHS Homeland Security uh, See Something, Say Something program. You know, I, I don't want this to look like I'm just saying that, you know, we're just being picked on. No. This, it's a divide and conquer thing. They'll start here and they'll work on down the line. Once they get rid of the, the patriotic white dissidents, then they're going to go after whoever else they need to. So don't fall for this, okay? Try, try not to anyway. I, I guess that's all I'll cover today. Uh, this has been a little quick. Uh, there's some other things going on. I'm just trying to keep tabs on them, and I'll get back with you later. I hope you have a good day. Thanks.